Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Malkai Santosh. As part of Serenity BDD with JBHA series, this is the second video. In this video, we're going to discuss how to create a Maven project and add the dependencies and plugins related to Serenity BDD. So let's start the session. So I am in IntelliJ right now. So in order to create a Maven project, I need to select a new project, then click on Maven Active. So I need to give a name for our Maven project. It can be anything. So let's give a name called Serenity BDD. JBH project. So this is the project name, and I am using the JDK 11. Okay, so I am using Open JDK 11, and we need to mention what archetype we need to create. Usually, while creating the Maven project for this automation framework, we basically use Quick Start as archetype. So let me use Maven archetype Quick Start. So that's it. Uh, we need to create that. So once you have clicked on create, it will create a Maven project for you. So I hope everyone is aware of what is Maven project. So Maven is a build management tool where it will create the folder structure for us. So it will help us to build a good project by working in a team. So it has one main component called pom.xml. So if you see, this is the pom.xml file. In pom.xml file, we need to add our dependencies and also we need to add our plugins. So these dependencies and plugins will be helpful while writing the code. It will fetch the whatever the APIs required uh, from the uh, repositories which we have connected. So usually if you are working on a project, you may use a JFrog or Nexus repository. And if you are not having a, your central repositories, then you can use a Maven repository or JCenter. Okay. In this video, I am going to show you I am using JCenter repository. Okay. So so let me add the dependencies and plugins and then explain you what dependencies and plugins I have added and how I have configured it. I have added the properties, repositories and dependencies along with plugins. Let's explain what, uh, what I have updated here. So the first thing is property files. So properties are nothing but whatever the, uh, whatever the property you need to add in the dependencies or plugins, you can add it in the property section and later you can use these tags to add it. Okay, here I'm using JDK 11. So the compiler version will be 11. Okay, and coming to Serenity version, I'm using 3.0.5. Uh, and also the Maven, Serenity Maven version will be same as Serenity version. As we are using JBH, I'm using the version, which is the highest version as of now, which is 1.46. Okay, and coming to the repositories, I'm using JCenter to pull the dependencies. You can use Maven repository also. Here I'm using a central repository as a JCenter. And also for the pulling the code from plugins. I am using a plugin repository as JCenter. So these two are default. You may use or you can also exclude it. And coming to the dependencies, as we are working in Serenity BTD project, we need to add the Serenity dependencies. The first thing and very important thing to add is Serenity core. It is from net.serenitybtd. So this serenity.core uh, dependency we need to add. The version, as I told, the property we are using. So every time we don't need to add the, if something has changed the version, we can come here directly in the properties and can change the properties instead of going and changing each and every dependency. So that's why I have added the properties here. And along with Serenity Core, I have added Serenity uh, JUnit to run our test cases. And I have added Serenity JBH integration dependency as well. So these three dependencies are here to integrate with JBH with Serenity BDD. Okay. And the next dependencies are JUnit. So it's a normal JUnit dependency. And the next is the assertions for uh, assertj and also hamcrest for doing the some string manipulations. And coming to plugins. So here the plugins are very important. So in this, as we are working with test cases and executing the test cases, Maven Surefire plugin will act as to trigger the test suits or test cases which we have written. And also Maven failsafe. So failsafe is also a plugin where we need to trigger our test cases. So I have added the plugin versions as 3.0 for both the uh, failsafe and surefire. And coming to compiler plugin, as I'm using JDK 11, I have added the configuration as JDK 11 here, the compiler version. This helps to compile your code, all the files which you have written in the Maven project. And the last and very important thing is Serenity Maven plugin. This uh, this plugin version I have added in the property files as 3.0. So this plugin acts to create, the, create and generate a good report for your automation framework. Okay, these are all the plugins and dependencies which I have added as part of uh, creating the Serenity BDD with JBH project. In this project, I am using JDK 11 as a Java version. So you can ask why I can't use JDK 
as we all know like selenium will not support jdk 1.8 post september 30 2023 as there was a issue identified in jdk 1.8 so they asked to migrate at least jdk 11 and uh, we can also continue with jdk 15 and 17 so the the least version to work with selenium is jdk 11 so that is the reason i am using jdk 11 so if you are using jdk 11 so you can have some advanced configurations uh, with java so you can work with some uh, good collections of java with jdk 11 okay this is the this is why i am using jdk 11 so this is all about properties and uh, dependencies and plugins in pom.xml in the next video i am going to explain the folder structure of selenity bdd so how we are going to create a folder structure for our automation framework so don't miss that video so we will meet there thank you